Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Joanne Tim Wong. Home Minister Datu Sri Syed Hamid Alba briefed 96 diplomats on sodomy allegations against Parti Keadilan Rakyat Advisor Datu Sri Anwar Ibrahim Wednesday. He says the briefing to ambassadors and high commissioners is to give foreign missions the real story backed up with facts rather than something peppered with insinuations of conspiracy. The briefing was held in response to Anwar's Tuesday night briefing to 30 mostly Western missions. Said Hamid says the foreign missions are keen to know about Anwar's controversial arrest last week and whether he will be charged. He says more such briefings will be held as and when necessary. Former Deputy Minister Datuk Fauzi Abdul Rahman has joined Parti Keadilan Rakyat. The former Kuantan AMNO Division Chief says he is ready to play an active role in PKR. I am not an AMNO outcast. Until today, they state there are divi there are uh, branches that wants me to contest the uh, AMNO uh, Bahagian Chief, but I think uh, AMNO is a good party, like a good ship. But if a good ship has a drunkard pilot, then the ship will, will get sunk. Fauzi says it is time for Malaysians to wake up and form a tangible two-party system. He says the reduction of BN's majority is the rakyat's gain. PKR advisor Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim also announced Wednesday that former Kota Setar MP Dr. Abdul Hadi Darani and former Muntakab AMNO Deputy Division Chief Datuk Mat Lazim Darani have also joined the party. Centre for Environmental Technology and Development Malaysia Chairman Gurmit Singh says large hydroelectric dams are not necessarily a source of renewable energy. He says Sarawak should factor in the impact of such projects where many people will be displaced and the state's centuries-old rainforest will be damaged. And one of the proposed dams, which is the Tutu Dam, will, is going to raise questions whether the Mulu National Park will be able to maintain the UNESCO World Heritage Site status. Because the dam, the proposed dam, will definitely submerge parts of the national park. Gurmit says environmentalists are prepared to meet the Sarawak government if the state leaders are willing to meet them. Deputy Energy, Water and Communications Minister Datu Joseph Salangandum says the additional energy output is not just for Sarawak, but will be transmitted to Peninsula Malaysia to meet the nation's growing power demands. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Joanne Timbuang. Thanks for watching.